Welcome to the Elevator World Podcast. Elevator World Incorporated is the leading publisher for the international building transportation industry. Our magazines cover the latest news, events, new technologies, market trends, and education. Sign up for a print subscription or read the issue on any tablet, PC, or mobile device. Purchase a one-year subscription or any single issue on the Elevator World apps available at no extra charge from the Apple or Amazon app stores. Click the link in the show notes for more information. The February issue of Elevator World focuses on hoistway equipment and systems. Here is the editor's overview. It's A Tall World by Risha Sturgeon Hendrick, read by Kaya Wilkinson. Nothing says tall like New York City, and Shanghai, and Dubai, and Taipei, and Mexico City, and Frankfurt, and Chicago. Actually, Chicago said it all. It is there that the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat held its best tall building symposium in late 2016, sponsored in part by Otis, Kone, and Schindler. Dr. Lee Gray reported on this for us for the fifth or sixth time and perceives it as a, quote, unique event bringing together all people who contribute to tall buildings in a celebration, end quote. While Shanghai Tower was awarded the 2016 Best Tall Building Award, New York City got its due with Via 57 West winning for the Americas and the Hearst Tower winning the 10-year award. We are reminded that these tall buildings are not chosen just for their tallness, but for their proportion to their environment and how they work within their tallness. With so many beautiful tall buildings to choose from in our features, we had a difficult time choosing a cover this month. The Pole House in Australia, the Three World Trade Center update, and the best tall buildings selected by CTBUH. It finally came down to Via 57 West, since we will have another chance at Three World Trade Center when it's complete. The Pole House is actually a house and is an Australian icon that can be rented by travelers. It sits high above the Tasman Sea, beside the original house, and sports a Domus lift by IGV. Another feature this month, Promises Delivered by Kaya Wilkinson, takes us all the way back to Vancouver, Canada, where local firm Hayes Elevator, Stana from the United Kingdom, and Onlev, a Hong Kong manufacturer, came together to make a local Walmart very happy. Our final feature saw our Hanno Vanderbilt in New York City to give us a three World Trade Center update. This building is quite spectacular and is being worked on by the same Schindler crew that installed the elevators at Four World Trade Center. We will run the full story when the building is complete in 2018. Our focus this month is on hoistway equipment and systems. We head off with from Berlin to Barbados, an article regarding a German company, Stengel Systems GmbH, that makes customized products for hoistways, scaffolding, inserts, work platforms, etc. They deliver these all over the world. Anchoring Guide Rails Under Seismic Conditions by Michael Mertz was a recent Elefcon paper. In it, he outlines the U.S. and European performance models for anchorage in seismic areas and notes that virtually all countries in the world use one or the other model. Finally, we conclude the topic with a rare treatise from George Gibson on traction. In Fred Hyman's and the Theory of Rope Traction, Part 1, he traces Hyman's influence on the elevator industry to his mathematical theory of rope traction. This first part describes Hyman's technical contributions. In 1920, while an Otis employee, he developed the undercut rope groove that revolutionized the industry. (music) 
Two other items are of particular note in this issue. We've written in the past about the Elevating Devices Mechanics Program at Durham College in Canada. This month, Wilkinson takes us to some very special classes there, training women to be elevator mechanics. Called Opening Doors, this is a great educational effort that, for obvious reasons, I love. The other item I don't love at all, but comes from Canada as well. Two people who contributed to the building of the industry in our neighbor up north, Giselle Battle and Pierre Labadie, have gone on to the great penthouse in the sky. They are both a great loss for our industry. That was Kaya Wilkinson reading the editor's overview, It's a Tall World. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com and follow us on Twitter at Elevator World.